Hey guys, so, um, I was going to make this video a few days ago, and I just haven't been able to find the time to do anything, apparently, uh, because of work and whatever, but, um, because of some things that have come up, um, in my life and the lives of some people around me, I find that it is kind of important for me to talk about this right now. And this is a more um, serious topic, so if you are not ready for a serious conversation, then you might not want to watch this. Um, this video is going to be about suicide. Yeah. And I'm not going to say exactly what happened, um, but there's been two instances that um, it's come up in the past week, and, uh, I don't even know where I want to go from here. I had so many ideas, but making a video like this is just hard. Um, first of all, it's ne suicide should never be an option. It's never really an option. There's so many more things that you can do. There's so many ways to get help. There's so many people to talk to who can help. There's so many other things that suicide should never be an option. I even had a conversation um, at work with my boss um, about this. And he just said, like, it's so sad how people who are so young a lot of the times who are so young are, are, are taking their lives. Such a young age, you haven't even lived life yet. You haven't even experienced the great things that life has to offer. And it seems like it's becoming more and more prevalent um, in society today. It's becoming more and more of people's first choice, which is scary. Um, but what I have to say about this is there is, you might hear this all the time. You might be in a very dark place and you might hear that, you know, it's, it, it'll get better. Because that was one thing that people told me, um, that it, it, it gets better. It'll get better. Things will be better soon. Um, and they do. I mean, take it from me, I've been in a lot of really messed up situations and been faced with a lot of really hard times. And at some points, yeah, I, I did contemplate suicide. Not going to get too much into that, but I know where some people are at when this happens. I know how it feels to be or to feel so low that you think about it. And, um, but now I look back on it and I think about, like, even if I, about a year ago, I, I did seriously contemplate suicide again. And I was hospitalized for it. But thinking about how many great things have happened in this past year, I can't even imagine what I would have missed for the rest of my life. I mean, in this past year, I've made so many friends, talked to so many people. I talked to people who have inspired me the most and who have saved my life people who I would have never expected to talk to, people who I didn't even think knew I existed. Sure, I've had so many ups and downs this past year, a lot of really hard times and a lot of situations that were pretty messed up, but there's been so much good come of it. I mean, I have an amazing job now. Um, I have so many amazing people in my life. I wouldn't have met my best friend, Spencer. I wouldn't have never met him. Yeah, we've only known each other for like nine months. 
Um, I mean, even just thinking about that. Um, but there's so many... There's so much potential in this world that I don't think people see that they have. Especially young people. We get so caught up in what's wrong now. What's going wrong now. And it might even be something small in in life that seems really big at the time but I mean that stuff passes even like really really hard stuff that you might feel like isn't going to pass it's going to things look up every day and it's it's up to you to see it sometimes everyone has so much potential to do so many great things in life and change so many people's lives and you gotta push through stay confident in yourself you know push yourself it might be hard I feel like I'm rambling but you wanna add something? <laughs> It's a hard one to talk about. To talk about. Well, this is my friend Haley, by the way. Hi. We didn't do an introduction. Um, you know, just kind of what you were saying. Um, sometimes shit, life, just it's not what you want it to be, mm -hmm. and it's not what you think it is. But and not every day is good. But there's a good thing about every single day. You just have to look for it. Like, I think we've all kind of been in that situation where you're just like. What if I just killed myself? That would be so much easier than putting up with all of this. But, like, there are points in your life where you have something good going on and then it's over. And part of you dies a yep. little bit. Like, it might seem like the end of the and world. It feel, and it feels like a part of you died because it did. It really did. Like, there was a point in my life where I had a great life and all these great people in it. And then all of a sudden they were all gone and I mm -hmm. wanted to kill myself. But then there were new people that came in and they kind of put me back together and made me a different person, a person that I thought was better than who I was before. But then now even, like, those people are gone. And I have to find a way to... You die a little bit every time something happens. But you can either stay that way or you can rise from the ashes, I guess. Like a phoenix, kind of? Like, there's... It would be a straight-up lie to say that life was easy. It would literally be, be a bullshit. huge <laughs> lie in the world to say, like, someone has a great life. Like, any person you meet, something happened. Yeah. Every everyone has person, a story. Everyone has a story. Like, I don't care if it's Bill Gates or, or Oprah Winfrey. Like, something happened to them that made them who they are. But you can either Throw be from someone, it. You can either be someone like, like Danny Shay who, I don't know who she is that well, but I know Parker does, someone that takes their problems and sees the good in them, sees a lesson to be learned, or you can let it take over who you are. And no one likes to see that. And I know Parker has been through so many things with so many people that he watched as they let that take over who they were. Mm -hmm. And I know that, I like, I can't sit here and say that I never felt like that. I think we all have, but... You you decide how you feel. There are going to be so many outside pressures in this world to make you feel like you want to kill yourself, to make you feel like that's the only way that you're going to feel better. But ultimately, that's your decision. And if I had a friend who continually that's all they wanted to do was kill themselves, who am I to say that they can't? I can't sit here and tell whoever's watching this right now, don't kill yourself. You don't chill for. I don't know what you have to live for. That's your decision. But I hope that you realize that there are so many things to live for that it should never be an option to do that. And that's about all I can think of right now. So. Yeah. Um. Through all these hard times, you have options. You have options on how you are going to take them. How are you going to perceive these options? how you're going to deal with them, and what you're going to do in the future if it comes up. And it will come up again. It always does. I admit 
that I get caught up in stupid shit that happens that makes me feel bad. I get really caught up in it to the point where it is all I think about. That is something that I need to fix. <laughs> and I know that that is something that I need to fix. Because before it has broken me completely. And it's not fun to be in that kind of situation. If something bad happens, When something bad happens, you don't you you tend to not you tend to not see the positive. All you see is the negative and what's going on. There can be so much good shit happening, but one thing that happens that really gets to you. That's what happened to me twice last year, and I let it get to me. But sometimes you just need to take a minute when something happens. Close your eyes, take a deep breath, and then be and then look around. Open your eyes and look around and see everything that you have. Everything that you have to offer. Everything that you staying alive could not only help yourself and help yourself be a person that you want to be, but help others. That's what I'm doing now. I am using what I have now to help others because I never want to see someone be where I've been before. I'm using my experiences that I've had in my life to show people I may only be 19 and so much shit has happened to me, but it gets better. It's already gotten better for me. I've had the darkest times in my life over the past however many years, and now I have friends who fully support me and care about me. I have a nice job. I have a couple of very special people in my life. Um, hi. Um, <laughs> and, um, oh boy. Okay. Um, yeah, there's just a lot of, there's so many options. If, if you need help, get help, though. Like, if, if you want to change, then change. That's the point where I'm at right now, and I want to change. I need to change, because I know that I need to change to help other people, because that's what I really want to do, and I know that I can't help people if I'm, yeah, if I can't even help myself. I'm going to put some links to some resources in the description if you need it, and I'm open to um, talking to anyone who needs to uh, talk, even if I'm just listening or whatever. Yeah, it's on Facebook. Um, yeah, Facebook too. Facebook us. Woo! Um, That's not my name, but, uh... Yeah, but um, seriously, there's there's so much that's gonna happen in your life. Live for it. Don't see that something bad's happening. Just be like, just know that something good is going to happen. And it will. Um, yeah, anything else you have to add? You're already great. You're amazing. The rest of the world just doesn't know it yet. Yep. So you got to Show them. Them. Show them. You are a beautiful and amazing freaking person. And you are awesome. Never let anyone, especially yourself ever bring you down. Um, I funny. love you guys a lot. Love you. Are we good? I think we're good. I think we're good. Stay classy. Love y'all. Love ya. Bye. Bye.